Hi guys, it's the Walking Zero Zoo Dead here, King of the Anime and Manga Boxes, and a lover of all things geeky here on YouTube. So, we released on August 1st, 1996, and directed by Shinji Akami, Resident Evil, brought about the era of survival horror on the PlayStation 1 with its tank controls, its fixed camera angles, and its beautiful pre rendered backgrounds, as well as its scary tension. But we're not talking about that today. We're talking about the cheesy, hokey lines that make Resident Evil nostalgic and give it all of its charm. This is Resident Evil in a nutshell. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we're searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle Chris, of our mission. You found it? No, I haven't found it yet. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. Bravo team went to the hideout of the group and disappeared. Look, Chris! It was Bravo team's helicopter. Nobody was in it. But strangely, most of the equipment was still there. However, we soon discovered why. Chris Redfield. Chris? Take care.
Chris, as my subordinate, you have wonderful talent. I would never work for a company like Umbrella. And Wesker, you were formerly with Umbrella. What do you mean? Since when have you been an Umbrella agent? And a traitor to the stars? Now you're wrong! I was formerly with Umbrella, yes. But now I'm prepared to face anything. Even getting rid of you vigilante stars. Now, the worst possible situation has occurred. The failure of the experiment created a virus, a biological weapon, polluting the entire lab. No, the worst happened with the tyrant virus. I lost some of my STARS team members because of it. You killed them with your own hands. Did you kill Enrico? Really? Yeah, like this. Rebecca! Don't move! If you do, I'll kill you. Chris, I have something to show you. Now, walk. I made it! I set off the triggering system to the bomb! Great! Rebecca! Brad's up in the helicopter! Look at those monsters! Let me take care of them! Chris, get in contact with Brad right away! Okay!
Richard, what happened? Oh, Jill, this house is dangerous. There are terrible demons. Ouch! You're wounded. What kind of demon attacked you? It was a huge snake and also poisonous. Oh. Poisonous? Oh, no. Richard, hold on. There is serum. Oh no, I should have brought some with me. No problem. I'll go and get it. Thanks. This is Jill. Brad? Oh, it's broken. Oh, Jill, what good timing. A moment ago, I heard someone's voice coming from this hole. Let's go together since it's dark and we can't see very well. Wesker? You did a fine job, Barry. Just as I thought. I think you should stay away from Barry, Jill. I hear that his wife and two daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. You are so cruel. Well, you don't have to worry about anything. 
Because you'll be free from this world very soon, Jill. Why do you have to destroy stars? That's Umbrella's intention. This laboratory has been engaging in dangerous experiments, and recently an accident has occurred. Anyway, this disaster cannot be made public. <sighs> That's why having stars nosing about is so inconvenient. So you're a slave of Umbrella now, along with these virus monsters. I think you misunderstand me, Jill. To me, the monsters you mentioned mean nothing. I'm going to burn all of them together with this entire laboratory. I must complete my mission as ordered by Umbrella. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry! Barry's such a fool. He'll be under the control of Umbrella forever. How come both Umbrella and you can intimidate him by taking his family as hostages? Umbrella? Well, I intimidated him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used him for my personal purposes, though both you and Barry seem to think I was following orders from Umbrella. So you're planning something else? If you succeeded in developing the world's most powerful biological weapon, what would you do? What if you were in charge? You must stop this now. You're a brave girl. But if I were you, I wouldn't give up such a big discovery. You guys are idiots. No one understands its real value. So, you're going to steal all the research? <laughs> Better yet, I'm going to show you the tyrant. Barry! Where's Barry? Barry Burton. A dining room. What? What is this? What is it? Blood. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Hope this is not Chris's blood. Barry? What is it? Watch out! It's a monster! Let me take care of this. What is it? Kenneth was killed too. Maybe by this creature. Anyway, let's report this to Wesker. And... Jill, here's a lockpick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. Thanks. Maybe I'll need it. Hey, what's 
going on? Jill? Is that you, Jill? What happened? Barry? Help me, please. The door won't open. Quick! Stay away from the door, Jill. I'm gonna kick this door down. Hurry! This way! That was too close. You were almost a Jill sandwich. <laughs> You're right. Barry, thanks for saving my life. Barry! Jill, what's going on? Any clues? No, but something's wrong with this house. Whoa. This hall is dangerous. Maybe it's better to secure our escape route first. There must be a back door somewhere. Let's try to find it first, shall we? Okay. Let's separate again. Just a moment. I found something. What is it? It's a weapon. It's really powerful, especially against living things. Better take it with you. But how about you, Barry? I have this. Thank you. I'll take this then. What the hell is this? Barry! Jill! Thanks, Barry. Don't mention it. What a monster. I can't believe... What the hell is this place, anyway? Oh! Oh. Barry! Sorry, Jill. How is your family? Uh, I was listening to what you and Wesker were talking about. I wish I realized it earlier. I thought it must have something to do with Umbrella, you know. So it's all been masterminded by him. But it's good that you know that now. Anyway, let's get out of this house first. Jill! Yes, what? Do you have any idea what Wesker was going to show you at the back of this place? Well, he was talking about the world's most powerful biological weapon, called Tyrant or something, I think. Do you think we could see Tyrant now? Barry, you're so optimistic. It would look bad for stars if we let such a dangerous creature run loose. Maybe you're right. Let's go then. Rebecca Chambers. Whoa! What is it? What? Oh! Oh no! Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> you must be from the Bravo team. Yes, I'm Rebecca. Rebecca Chambers. I'm a newcomer. I just joined the Stars Bravo team last month. Well, I'm really sorry. Are you all right? Yes. I'm Chris Redfield from the Alpha Team. Are you the only person here from the Bravo Team? Well, because the helicopter made a forced landing, I just ran into this house anyway, but I, uh... uh... I see. There's nothing else you could have done anyway. It's good you're here. Yes, sir. But it's strange. I serviced the helicopter recently, but something went wrong with the engine. 
It was such a short flight. It's me, Chris. Is that you, Rebecca? Ah, it's the Moonlight Sonata. Can you play? No, it's no use. The roots of it are in the basement. You could... Whoa! Chris! Take this file with you. Use the information in it in order to make the potion. And kill the root. Rebecca, please. You okay? Yeah, so much for him. We got to the root of the problem. Saved again. Albert Wesker. What is this? Wow, what a mansion! Captain Wesker, where's Chris? Stop it! Don't open that door! But Chris is... What is it? Maybe it's Chris. Now, Jill, can you go? I'm going with you. Chris is our old partner, you know. Okay, let me handle this. Wesker! Help me look for him, Jill. And don't leave this hall for the time being. Wesker! Jill, so you're safe. That's what I was going to say. Where on earth have you been? You disappeared from the hall all of a sudden. I'm sorry. But I have my reasons. Perhaps you guys have met them? It was all I could do to protect myself against those strange creatures. Is that right? Anyway, it's good to see you're safe. Jill, our first priority is to get out of here. Yes, you're right. Now, there are a lot of rooms in that mansion that we can't get into because they're locked up. I have been looking around for clues. Okay, I'll go to the other house and see if I can find any clues. Will you do that? I'm counting on you. Is that Jill? Is that voice Enrico's? Yeah? You're alive! Wait there! Are you with anybody, Jill? What? Oh, yes! Enrico! So, Barry and Jill together. Are you all right, Enrico? The stars are doomed. Someone is a traitor. Everything was plotted from the start by Umbrella. Huh?
That's right. This is the ultimate life form. Tyrant. <laughs> Chris? <laughs> Stop it. Wesker, you're pitiful. This is your savior? You say this failure is your savior? You can make sure yourself whether Tyrant is a failure or not. Go to hell. Jill will join you too. What? Don't come this way! No! Thanks for watching the video guys, if you enjoyed it please give it the old thumbs up, share it around, subscribe, click that notification bell so you get more geeky videos pop up in your feed. In the comment section down below I want to know from you guys out there, what is your favourite cheesy hokey line from Resident Evil 1? Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.